Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me using the boxy charm that came this month. Um, everyone got, I believe, the same eyeshadow palette. So I think everyone's box is pretty much the same. Um, I did peek in here and open it just to make sure everything was okay. All right, so we did get the Bare Minerals. This is the face brush. We will give this a try today. And the Luminous Loose Blush, and this one is by Studio Makeup. It's a very pretty peach, so we'll give that a shot. And this is the Regio. Regio. Okay. Don't Despair Repair. This is a deep conditioning mask for your hair. Um, we'll save that for the shower. <laughs> and from Pure Cosmetics, we did get the... Look how pretty. Look at that. It's gorgeous packaging. Uh, the eyeshadow palette. I've not opened any of this up yet, so, so we'll be using the eyeshadow palettes. Let me grab a little card that came. And then ColourPop. I'm going to throw this box right over here. Uh, there was, I believe, three different colors that would be sent in the box. I did get the shade Mess Around, which is kind of a brownie nude. I don't know how that's going to work with my complexion, but we're going to give it a shot. And the MAC eye, uh, Eyebrow Pencil, and I don't know what shade this one was. Uh huh. Is it Lingering? Lingering Eyebrows. I don't know what shade this one is, but it's it'll work. It'll it'll work for me. All right, so I'm gonna get this brush open, and we can get started. I'm waiting on our our air AC guy. We finally got one to come out and check out our units, and he's supposed to come back today and fix it. So it does have this cute, just a nice little cap guard. I'm gonna take that off and it's very soft it's got that little divot i know you can't see that but it's got a little divot so if i can get up right there you can see it right there a little divot that you're supposed to put your makeup in and then apply so i'm going to be using the naked skin urban decay the one and done and this shade is a medium light and let's give it a go so i'm just going to pump it straight into the little well and I'm going to kind of tap along a few places here and start to let me I have so much stuff out on my um little desk here it's just crazy how much stuff I have out I need to reorganize all right I can already tell you, to me it's kind of small and it's not, it's taking a while. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's got a small surface area. But, I mean, it's, it's doing its job and it's, It's not terrible you just if you're not used to the size it just seems to be kind of small okay that was two pumps I'm gonna do like a half a pump and just kind of Dot it come more around my jawline there. So that was about two and a half pumps on the brush. I mean, it's not bad, it's very soft. And let me look kind of up close here. a few spots that I didn't blend completely but 
but yeah I mean it's not bad um, but you know what I'm saying compared to the brush that I normally use this has twice the surface area and it just seems to blend much faster you know what I'm saying compared to this little booger but I will use this I think it would work for me work <laughs> uh, much better for like concealer and you know what we'll go ahead and give that a, a test this is the uh, Rimmel match this is just that one I'm trying to use uh, I already have another one over there in the case I'm just gonna put a little concealer nothing crazy I don't do a lot of heavy concealing as you guys know and I didn't put that in the well I just put that right up on yeah I like it more for concealer <laughs> Definitely like it more for concealer. Okay, so that was the Bare Minerals um, foundation brush. We use that just to quickly set my face. I have so many Elf Compacts sitting here; it's crazy. All right, there's the one I'm looking for, and it is, of course, that beautifully bare finishing powder. And I'm just gonna grab the Elf Complexion brush. And she looks like that. And just very lightly, we're just going to very lightly sit that. I have a haul of some clothes, kind of like a summer, end of summer clearance haul. And a few accessories um, and I'll go ahead and say that um, I have already grabbed a couple one other thing for the giveaway I will show that in the haul um, and I will do an official giveaway video where I show everything in the video um, I'll probably do that next week and um, the way I'll pick a winner is you'll have to comment in the comments what state you're from and that way I can just go through the comments gather all the names and pick a winner there so just a heads up on how that's going to kind of go as I was thinking about it and I won't be able to really know how to tell um, who's in the states and who's not so um, yeah I'm just going to have everyone comment on the giveaway video what state you're in and then I will choose from those comments on the video so stay tuned for that that was just the the elf eyeshadow primer all right so this has a little clear little protective film over it and I'm just gonna take that off and nice neutral palette up my alley yes it is that is just completely up my alley so let's grab a couple eyeshadow brushes here uh -huh. now I gotta grab all my favorites I was kind of hoping for the eyeshadow brushes <laughs> to be honest because I knew that little brush I just wouldn't use it but it works good for concealer so we're going to give it a shot with the concealing I'm going to take the shade mogul of course just to set I'm trying to see if it's shimmer it doesn't look like it this is the lightest shade in the palette I'm trying to get my mirror situated hey people we Oh, that's a good jump. He has come to clean on the bed. <laughs> that's my big one. 
All right, so far these don't have a whole lot of fallout or kick up it seems like. I'm going to come in with is this Gala, Gala, however you want to say it. Just to start that transition. Very soft. And I like that they're they're very soft, not soft as the um, texture, but they look very soft on the eyes. You know what I'm saying? It's not a harsh. Like oh man, how am I going to blend that out? Kind of. Just a very nice smooth color. I'm going to come in with, oh, there's just, I'm going to come in with Splurge, which is this one. Tap a little of that off because it looked like it may give me a little color. And I'm just going to right in the crease with that one. Now we're just blending. I'm going to come back with a smaller brush. This is that Wet n Wild. The white. You can find these at your dollar stores, your dollar tree. I'm going to come in with Stunner which is this one. Just give it a light tap. And I'm going to tap one time into Snazzy. Well, actually, a, twice. Which is the one right beside of it. And I am staying right in that crease. Just right in there. I did get a little skip line right here. We will work that. <laughs> we will try to work with that. That eye's been doing it bad. I don't know why. This eye has not um, given me that grief. But this eye, especially here in the corner, okay, I'm going to take a clean, fluffy brush just to... And I'm going to come back in with Splurge on that. Just to blend... I don't know if you can tell. I don't think you can really tell the when you get those little t -t 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 skip lines, especially if you have crepey or hooded eyes that has the excess skin like I do. Just right there, and it's really bugging me. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna come in with this is the elf c shadow brush it's just the one for the lid and look at these gorgeous shimmers i don't know i think i'm going to go with this one which is twinkle i don't see what this dazzle look at dazzle i don't think that would really go with the eyeshadow look i'm doing right now so i'm going to do i'm going to come in with a little little this it is glitzy this one is glitzy so I'm just picking up a little I'm putting that back here in the corner just right here in that that corner I'll wipe it off a little bit and then come in with twinkle and oh wow And here's where we'll really kind of get that skip line. Hopefully some. Some blending. So I'm going to kind of bring this up. And 
these brushes are really more dense. See how I'm kind of bringing that up? Just keep bringing it up a little higher and over. And that really helped that skip line. So I'm going to come back with Stunner. I'm just barely tapping the tip in there. And just right up under. Okay, and then I'm going to grab that little $1 concealer brush from e.l.f. I'm going to come in with Snazzy, which was the darkest shade. And just really kind of get that corner, maybe even a little on the top there. We'll wipe that off, come back in with Twinkle, and bring that down to the front. Nice. So that's, I've been doing a lot of these orangey golden looks. I need to find new colors, but that's, that's what the palette gives us. So um, for bronzer, I don't really have a bronzer available in the kit so we're going to use of course that elf palette that i got and i'm just going to use that same this is a wonderful multitasking brush it's a complexion brush just going to tap into that lightest shade and just right up around the hairline you know the drill And for my jawline, I'm going to mix the two because I really want to kind of shadow that double chin out. And blend it all down so it doesn't look wonky. All right. Next up, we have blush. And this is the Studio Makeup. I don't know exactly how I feel about this. It does have a little plastic seal. So I'm going to grab some tweezers and see if I can get that seal off there. How in the world? Okay. I see it now. You had to turn it all the way around to get that little plastic seal out of there all right get off my finger for this i'm just going to give it a little tap get some product and i want to take that and i'm wiping it off real good because i know it's got highlighter all over it this is the elf blush brush it has a smaller head and I'm just going to tap into that and just very lightly hit that apple. Oh, I went, went to town on that apple. See that? Yeah, I went to town. Alright, I'm going to tap out just a little bit more, and can you see it? You can barely see it. Let me get it a little bit more out, because I'm trying to tap a little out and not get it everywhere. Yeah, there we go. That's a little better. It's just a nice, natural kind of peachy pink and my color was if I can get the lid on it before I turn it over does it not give you a shade name it just says luminous loose blush a silky light weight blush that gives you a pop of healthy radiance on the cheeks 
and I don't see a shade. Nope, mm -mm, not a shade, but just a nice kind of peachy. I'm going to take my complexion brush and just give that a blend since I did get a little heavy with it. Alright, next up is going to be brown, so I'm just going to grab a spoolie again. This is the e.l.f. $1 spoolie. Guys, they work for a dollar. You don't need, you know, a $15 spoolie when you can grab an e.l.f. one for a dollar. And um, just twist up. Mm -hmm, there it goes. You guys know I don't do a whole lot of brow but I'm liking that give it another little twist here and yeah I'm liking that a lot actually <laughs> um, come here spoolie It gets really quiet when I do my brows, huh? Nice! I really like that. And that is actually the first thing I've ever got from Mac. So, you know, awesome. Uh, put that in the front of my brow things to just set that down. I'm looking for my next control freak. And we're just going to lay that down in place just like so. Very nice. Um, for mascara, I'm just grabbing out of my little collection. This is the Josie Moran Argan Black Oil. I really like this one. I know some people don't like it. But man, it makes my lashes look so good. Trying not to get this all over me because you guys know if I don't bump mascara on myself somewhere, it has not been a full day. And I'm just going to go back and hit those tips. All right. What's left? Lips. Let's see. Let me see if I can get in so you can see my lashes. Just get right up in your business, didn't I? All right. So what's left? Lips. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to like this one or not, but we're going to give it a shot. This is the ColourPop ultra satin and I do like this formula but to me I don't know we'll do a swatch and look how nicely I did that swatch you think I've been practicing but I haven't this is a very nudie brown so I don't know if I'm gonna like it but we're gonna see I don't know if that's gonna go good with my color Give that a moment. I, I'm not exactly sure how I'm feeling about the lip yet. 
Let's see, I think everything's done but a setting spray. And that is using up everything. See, to me, that just does not, it's, it's not doing anything for me, that color Livy. I mean, I could probably maybe mix it with something to get a different shade. But to me, that's just not, it's not giving me anything that, so to me, I think that's, that, that was the only drawback. I did not like the lip shade. This is just a, um, a coconut rose setting spray. If I can get in there so you can see that. Yep. I got this at TJ Maxx. Um, I believe it was, um. Yeah, $5.99 for this big old bottle. It's okay. I've been trying to use it. Nothing. Nothing, you know. I'm going to take a, a NYX lingerie. And. Slide that up a little bit. I think I like that a little better. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. That's the look we've done today using the Boxy Charm. It is very foul, still very vampish. It's not bad. As always, thank thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you on the next one.